When you put the tape on of the Dallas Cowboys defense, two players really stand out. They're stacked linebackers, Leighton Vander Esch and Jalen Smith. And the last time the Eagles played the Cowboys on November 11th, those two players really shined. Now they are really good in the run game. They are both dynamic, they're quick, they're fast, they can play downhill, and they can play laterally. And let's start by looking at them play downhill. This is against the Seattle Seahawks. It's a two back set. So what you're going to see here is a handoff to Chris Carson with a fullback Madden out in front of him. Now look at Jalen Smith. He attacks downhill on an angle. Look at the speed. He gets through the gap and he forces Carson to go east-west. And that's where Leighton Van Der Esch is. Van Der Esch will do a great job of playing off the block of Madden and making the tackle for a loss. Now Smith and Van Der Esch are also outstanding laterally. They have great inside-out, sideline-to-sideline range. This is against the Redskins. What you're going to see here again is Smith with his speed. Here it's more lateral. What he's going to do is out leverage the block of the offensive lineman and by doing that out leverage Peterson. Get outside of Peterson and force him to cut back inside where Leighton Van Der Esch coming from the inside uses his speed and stride length to make the tackle for a very short gain. So what you have with Jalen Smith and Leighton Van Der Esch, two good sized, fast, dynamic, stacked linebackers. Very good in the run game and Leighton Van Der Esch in particular also very good as a pass defender. It is a tough challenge for the Eagles offense. All right, Mike Quick, in the last game, the Eagles lost to the Cowboys. Leighton Van Der Esch had 13 tackles and led the game. They only held the Saints to 10 points. So what can the Eagles offense do to try to keep the linebackers off their playmakers? I think very similar to what they did against the Redskins, multiple sets, multiple formations, keeping that defense off balance. And, John, what they do a nice job with is showing a formation or a look and running different plays off of that look. If you watch this play, you're gonna get Nelson Aguilar motioning in. He sits right between the tackle and the tight end, and he gets upfield to get a block on DJ Swearinger just to shield him off on the backside. They get Josh Adams through. A nice job of creating space by the guys up front. Josh Adams, patient, bounces this to the outside for an 11-yard pickup, and this is the first possession, first drive of the game. You go a little bit further, and you'll see that same type of look where Nelson Aguilar is going to motion from the outside in and set again between the tackle and the tight end, but it's a different look. A little play action in the backfield, and they want to throw the ball down the field. A little outside zone look. Carson comes around. He wants Nelson Aguilar on the deep corner route. That's not there, so he gets it to his favorite target, Zach Ertz, and it's just showing the same look, but giving different action, different plays off of the same look. Having a lot of variety in your offense is one of the things that they did so well against the Redskins, and they'll have to do that against the Cowboys. And another thing that's working really well recently is the Eagles' screen game, it's especially oh, yeah. Jason Kelsey out in space blocking with one arm. How impressive has that been, and how can it keep defenses off balance? It's one of the best weapons that this offense has. They're a very good screen game, this offense, and they have to, especially when you got guys that like to be very aggressive getting up the field. You take advantage of that by using the screen game. This team's very good at screen game and if you watch the way Corey Clement stayed behind those big guys on the screen game against the Redskins that's what you must do against the Cowboys. Mm -hmm.